Merry Hanukkah, Christmas Sameach. My name is Eitan Vernath, and today I am a Jew, as I am every day, and I am trying Christmas food. I have every single Christmas food that I know of, and I'm going to see, do I like it or do I not? Does this Jew like Christmas food? All right, let's bring out the first Christmas item. Hi, Eitan. Hello. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you as well. The first item is the Yule Log. A Yule Log. Wow. What is a Yule Log? Historically, it was an entire tree that people would bring in root first through the front door, put into their fireplace, have it sticking out of their entire house, and burn it over the 12 days of Christmas. And now it's a cake. And now it's a cake. Be better. Some would say better. Yeah, More I don't think we will burn it. Whole tree burning. Beautifully designed. It is also, what this literally is, is sponge cake mm. rolled up, spiraled up with cream inside. This one has tiny plastic sauce. Very cute. Sounds delicious. Oh, for sure. All right, let's cut ourselves a little slice of the tree. And little um, meringue mushrooms. How's I that? I really like it. You are, are, are. I like it. Good. Mm. And you're not a cake man, but this is mostly filling. I think these ratios might work for you. I agree. All right, let's give it a try. I'm optimistic it's a cake. Oh, oh, that's good. Mm. Mostly frosting. How I like it. Mm. It's good. Let me just tell you, this is one log that I approve. Aton, I have a very controversial Christmas item here for you. The somewhat beloved, mostly probably hated fruitcake. I have seen this before. Yes, this is an item I feel like some people, oh wait, take it out so the peoples can see. Oh. Here, it's a dense, baby. Oh, wow. Yes, these have been made, there you go, you could do a little ring. Merry ring. Christmas. <laughs> ring around the rosy. So this particular one, if we're going anthropologically, oh. um, has been in existence forever. It actually is almost petrified with the amount of alcohol. It and, looks it. Yes, she's, she's a thick, she's a thick girl. But they actually have fruit cakes that have been uh, kept for almost a hundred or over a hundred years because of the amount of preservatives. Did we source one of those? Because this looks like it's from over. It absolutely is. No, it's not. So this is a classic uh, Christmas item that is both loved and hated, and I am thrilled to see what you think. There is simply nothing about this that appeals to me. No, not a thing. You hate dried fruit and you don't like cake, so I wish you the best of luck. Well, here we are. Started with the high, now we're here. Oh my god. That texture is real bad. Oh. Okay. Wow. It tastes like it's from a hundred years ago. That is a hard no for me. Imagine you took a cake, smashed it together with your hands, used a hydraulic press together with some dried fruit and walnuts, store it in a dry space for 300 years, bam, you have yourself a delicious fruit cake. Let's go try the next one. Hopefully, good. More food. What do we have? Oh, are those chestnuts. Chestnuts roasting. I'm not even gonna sing that because Olivia's the singer. <laughs> I was so excited uh, for that. <laughs> like a little serenade. A little child. It is, a chestnut baby. Yes, and we have them in a variety of forms. So, undone. Unroasted. I show the we had to show you the trials and tribulations yes. that we went through. If anyone tells you to peel your own chestnuts at home, please um, do not listen to their advice yeah. and buy them uh, unpeeled or peeled. The song is a lie. Yes. These are the un... I mean, they're just plain. They look like acorns. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, unfortunately, what these are technically called is nut meat. Yes. Those so are, these the are the nut meats. These are the plain nut meat. Yep. And this... Rachel did everything humanly possible to make maybe, them delicious. Maybe pick one from the bottom when you do eat them. A little, yeah. Okay, it smells good. It looks like a little brain that has been bleached and then shrunken. So. I want to hate that. It's almost like a very starchy. Imagine you took a gnocchi. You, you freeze dried it. And then made it worse. Yeah, one of the best times of the year. Okay, variety of cookies. Every family, including my own, does a million different types of cookies. Um, these are just a little assortment, so always some type of sugar cookie vibe or gingerbread mm -hmm. vibe that is then decorated. 
Then over here we have some traditional butter cookies. So Ooh. Good. Then <clears throat> these are rainbow cookies. Now, don't quote me on this. I'm fairly sure they're an Italian specialty. Each layer perfectly handcrafted, put together. I think maybe with a little jam. Yeah. Tell me in the comments if that's not the issue. Um, and then I think dark chocolate on the top as well. But just like a little arrangement of some cookies. And uh, yeah. Thank you. I'm going to start off eating Santa over here. You know, as a little Jewish kid, um, it was always it was always like we knew the secret to our friends. Santa's not real, sorry. We do. Oh yeah, um, there was simply nothing wrong with that. A friend over here. Oh wow, look at crunchy. Next up, butter cookies. Mm. It's buttery, perfectly crunchy. I mean, Sign me up. Okay, this one, not gonna lie, not excited about this one. Us Jews actually know this one because it is a traditional uh, little snack that we usually have after synagogue. And I don't know about you, but if you're Jewish, this is always the one that's left over on the plate of cookies because the children have chosen the other ones. Just saying. Not bad, but I will take gingerbread man decapitated and these butter cookies any day. I love cookies. This is my favorite video I've ever done. Okay, Eitan, this is called a croquembouche. Croquembouche! And it kind of looks like a Christmas tree It now. does, yeah. but topped with a Jewish star. Which I did just for you. Yes. This is a tower of cream puffs mm -hmm. and it's in a cage of caramel. Uh, it's French and it's usually made for any kind of important celebration. And for Christmas celebrators, Christmas is a big one. Well, so there you go. bonjour mother cluckers. Let's give this a try. Okay, we like that. Mm. Okay. Mm, okay. Love here. that for you. Mm. Uh, you will love this one, no yeah. doubt. Corn little man. Oh, cheers. Oh, that's delicious. That is absolutely delightful. Oh my God, we need to make Jewish ones of these. Me and my meowzle tove, ugly Hanukkah sweater, are ready for the next one. What do we have, what do we have going on? It's a little present. A panettone, manga. Oh, welcome. Hey. This is the classic Italian Christmas bread. It Ooh. is wrapped up like a package, as you can see. They come in a huge range of mm -hmm. flavors. They, some of them have orange and chocolate, some of them have pear, um, some of them have, almost all of them, I think, have some form of liquor. Don't quote me on that. Like, mm -hmm. a lot of times they're soaked in it or something like that. It's like if fruitcake tasted good. Oh. Well, at least I hope. So you tried the American one, the crappy one. Now you've got the Italians who know what's up. All right. We have our little loaf over here. Wow, this bread. It's like Fort Knox up in here. And now let's slice this bad boy in half. Here we go. Let's open it up and whoa. It's a whole lot of stuff. It's a little, it's a little bread with a surprise on the inside. Okay, definitely better. The hefty amount of dried fruit. Yeah, it smells like dried fruit. Here's the thing. I appreciate that someone would love this. Hi. Hello. Very good news. Oh, it's I'm bringing, bringing you something that we already know that you love and that you have at least two recipes for on your website. I do love this. Atonbernath.com. Fun little fact, when I say that I'm a Jew who loves Christmas food, I literally just mean eggnog. What do you mean is you're a Jew who I do like that. eggnog. I did a video where I made eggnog and I served it hot. In a mug. In a mug. He claims it's good, as Christmas celebrators aren't sure. They're not, they're not convinced. Yeah. Mm. I've been saying on the record that I'm a Jew who loves Christmas food for many years now, and I should have had a little asterisk next to there that I'm a Jew who loves eggnog. Now after this video, I can firmly say that I'm a Jew who loves Christmas food, but... Oh, that, that is less of an effect than I thought. Okay, there we go. Mm, I, I gotta give them... Little well, Christmas yeah, popcorn. Yes, this is the quintessential snacking gift. You're just going right for it. I wow. love it. All right, so we got a three... Oh, oh Sonic's a little stale. We got your plain boys, mm -hmm. we got your cheddar, and we got your caramel. Now, a classy move is to do a little savory. I did. A little sweet? I'm classy. Mm-hmm, you're a classy lady. There we go. Wow, that really, <laughs> that really was loud. Not gonna lie, 
I have very much had these before. It's a good little thing as a Jew around Christmas time. There's lots of good popcorn. Some popcorn is stale. Will I still eat it? I will. I am just one large piece of carbs right now and I'm ready for more. I have not carbs, really, just candy. Oh, that's fun. So Christmas candy is a huge thing. It's mm -hmm. usually put in one stocking, which mm -hmm. are hung over the fire with care and then filled with things. Um, there we go. People have like a lot of traditions about when they do and don't unpack them, but it's part of the gift giving. We got you a hollow chocolate Santa. Oh, wow. It's low quality chocolate. usually tastes like wax. Really? Candy cane, I think. I love candy cane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My personal favorite is the Reese's Christmas tree. Mm -hmm. And then finally, uh, Hershey's Kisses is a lot of specialty stuff. So you got, we got you some of the Christmas wow. Hershey Kisses. All right, let's open up Santa. See what he has to share with the world. I feel like as a Jew, I'm not supposed to like Santa. Oh God, it's really bad. Santa, you taste terrible, no offense. Reese's peanut butter trees. I love Reese's peanut butter cups. Um, I'm sure I'll love it in tree form. Oh yeah. Hey Reese's, where's our dreidel? Reese's pieces. Well, that is simply adorable. I'm gonna stick to the Reese's, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we finally have a savory item Ooh, for you. Oh, my blood sugar is ready for that. <laughs> I thought so. So, this is a beef wellington that I made. Um, what this is, is a piece of what's called Chateau Brion, oh. which is the fancy French word for the center part of the filet mignon, essentially a beef tenderloin, right? Mm -hmm. But it's only the center parts of it, so it's all one width. Then what you do is you make a duck cell, which is um, mushrooms and thyme and wine and all kinds of stuff. And then you have puff pastry as well. Um, put that down and then the duck cell, wrap it all up, bake it, and then you have it encased in that. I'm now just going to cut myself a piece. It's a beautifully cooked steak. Cut, cut, cut. Ooh, it smells like there's maybe some truffle in this sauce. I mean, this is gonna be delicious. There's mushroom, there's steak, there's puff pastry. What is there not to like? Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That is like delicious. Okay, we have saved the best for last, Ooh. in my opinion. A gingerbread house. Very I'm sure, beautiful. I'm sure you've seen these around. Yes. Um, the reason they're my favorite is because they are very meticulous and fiddly to put together, which is one of my Sounds favorite right activities. Uh, this is a boxed one, so you've seen, the, I'm sure you see the kits and, yeah. and stuff like that. So uh, I don't want any comments on the royal icing. Got it. The icing they provide is a little chunky, but these are super, super old. So gingerbread cookies like are literally an ancient cookie. Ginger's an ancient spice that mm -hmm. helps preserve things. Um, they started making house versions in the 1800s in Germany because of the Hansel and Gretel fairy tale. Oh! It's a little dark. Well, hello, my little darlings. <laughs> Welcome to my house. Wow. It's a little dark on Christmas time. You know, us Jews do have our own version of this. Uh, a few years ago, they released products um, that are Jewish gingerbread houses. So, you know, there's a menorah in the front. There's other Jewish accoutrement, everything like that. So we, we have our own gingerbread houses, everyone. So not really sure how good it's gonna be, okay. Cause it's from a box, I'm not really sure how it's gonna taste, but regardless, it looks beautiful. Now, honestly, it's all that matters. Who eat, do people really eat gingerbread houses? I'm being told they do, so what do I know? It's not bad. It's not even a little good. It's a neutral cookie. It's fun. Make one of these, leave it out. My cat Cardi will probably lick it. It's not really healthy. I do see at least one cat hair on here. I can't believe this is the last one. Wow. I do feel like after this video, I can officially say I'm a Jew who likes Christmas food. Do you agree? Okay. Yes. I am a Jew who likes Christmas food, everyone. You like the right Christmas food. I like the right Christmas foods. Okay. Not fruitcake. That is what we have determined here, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Now, um, I figure time for some of my own festivities. I'm just gonna make sure we can relight our menorah. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. As a Jew who has always said they like Christmas food, it's definitely fun to know that I do now enjoy Christmas food. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit the like button if you're watching. Subscribe for more videos. Comment down below what is your favorite holiday time food. Are you Jewish? Do you like Christmas food? Are you do you celebrate Christmas? Do you like Jewish food? I would love to know. And if you need me, I'm gonna be drinking some more eggnog, eating some more creme croque bouche, and devouring the Yule log. Oh, menorah, oh, menorah.
How lovely are your lights? Oh. Merry Hanukkah, everyone. Hope you have a Christmas Sameach. Well, if you celebrate holidays, great. If you don't, also great. We love you as well. All that matters is that you eat food. Dude, can I have this? Yeah. I want to know what they are, so yeah, I want you okay. to eat it, because I've been curious what they are. Oh, it's bubblegum. Oh, oh it's bubblegum. Right. Oh, it's very stale. What was, your, what was your favorite thing today? My mm -hmm. favorite thing, well, I like the eggnog, but... Okay, no. It can't, you have to pick, okay, you have to pick a new favorite. No, 